We're going to wrap up the Buford News the only way we should, and that's with the ones, the, the state champs. The state champs. Buford yeah. Academy won a state championship in eight man, but uh, state champs in 11 man. Thomas Hayward Academy, uh, congratulations, Nick Shuford, again on, on winning that state title. Uh, has it worn off yet? You still feeling it? Uh, no, it's worn off. Um, we're looking for the next one now, so <laughs> we're back to work. This is, I call him coach business. It's all about business. He, you know, he'll enjoy a win for about 12 minutes and then it's on to the next one. Is that a safe way to look at it? We enjoyed it for yeah. a couple months. A okay. couple months, <laughs> you enjoyed that? Okay. Yeah. You've got, obviously, with a state title team, there's going to be some seniors. You're going to lose some stuff. Um, how are you going to replace them? We graduated 14 yeah. really good football players, but um, we've got a lot coming back. We've got 32 guys. Um, single a skis of football that's a lot yeah um and we've still got a lot of returners that were a big part of last year's team so i mean we're looking to pick up where we left off are you gonna have to go both ways with with very many people then when you got 32 still a lot of them are still yeah. gonna go both ways yeah well let's start on offense you know we have to replace jake masters so where are we going there we're going right behind me um peyton bennett number 10 um you know he's doing a great job stepping in and taking over the offense um a lot of confidence in him Offense stays pretty much the same way otherwise, though? Very similar. And the beauty is you've got four of the big guys uh, coming back on the offensive line. Yeah, we only lost one uh, offensive lineman up front. So uh, three of them are behind me, and um, we're expecting big things out of those big guys up front. Sounds like we better meet these big guys I think we up should. front. Huh? Let, let's, meet the, let's meet the crew. Name, rank, and serial number. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jarvis Gordon. I play defensive tackle. Uh, Dalton Hayes, Olan, and D-Line. Peyton Bennett, quarterback. John Hewlett, I play O-line. Center can, left tackle. Let's look at defense. You got you graduated more than half your defense. So what are we looking at there? Uh, a lot of our the kids we graduated were in the secondary um, in linebacker position. Um, so we've got some big holes to fill there. Um, a lot of our defensive linemen are back. Um, so that's going to that's, that, that's going to be huge up front. Um, we're just going to be young, you know, in the secondary and a little young at the linebacker position. So we've got to have, have some guys step up. Sounds like you're thinking maybe early in the season until things uh, all fit together, the offense is going to have to outscore folks a little bit. Uh, I mean, I'd be okay before. with that as long as, long as we're scoring as they more. Did it. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, you know, the expectations are still high for the defense. Um, they're young, but we've got some guys that are qualified to go out there and do the job. You like the way the schedule sets up for the year? Uh, yeah, I can't complain about it too much. I mean, yeah. Um, we got a, you know, our bye week is the last week before playoffs. So, you know, if we're Perfect. beat up any, you know, get a little rested up for playoff time. It's what you get to do when you're uh, the defending state champs, huh? Congratulations again on that. Good luck. How high is the bar set? Is it set pretty high with your yeah. fan base? And it it everybody? is. Uh, the goals are the same. <laughs> they they the are expecting are the a same. lot. That's right. All right. Thanks so much again, Nick Shuford, and thanks to the Thomas Hayward Rebels and all of the schools uh, that have joined us for this high school football preview. And we invite you to join us again next week for the Buford News.